We'll listen in as NASA commentator Bruce Buckingham takes us through the final seconds of the countdown. T-minus 31 seconds, and we have a go for auto sequence start. Endeavor's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. T-minus 15 seconds. 11, 10, 9, and we have a go for main engine start. 5, 4, 3, 2, one, and we have liftoff, liftoff of the Space Shuttle Endeavour on an ambitious mission to service the Hubble Space Telescope. Roger, roll, Endeavour. Ethan, after pulling, Endeavour's underway, rolled on course for an orbit with the Hubble Space Telescope. They were already traveling about 300 miles an hour. Top speed one mile. Three in the plane, Endeavour would fly back to two thirds throttle to prepare the shuttle to pass through the area of maximum air pressure and go supersonic. next seven minutes will almost certainly be the most exciting ever for the seven-person Endeavour crew. We're going to watch the Endeavour's three main engines now back at full throttle. All flight control positions are go. Altitude now 10 miles, seven miles east of launch pad 39B. Endeavour speed 1,700 miles an hour. One and a half minutes since liftoff, Endeavour's Already used more than two and a quarter million pounds of propellant, and the shuttle weighs less than half of what it did at launch. Flight controllers are now standing by for burnout and separation of the twin solid rockets. The most dangerous part of the space shuttle mission just ended. As the solid rocket boosters have fallen off the sides, it confirms it did. The three main engines are now um, uh, powering the space shuttle into orbit. 